The rate certified San Diego's most accurate forecast. This is 10 News Pinpoint Weather. We've been warning about this all day long with these Santa Ana winds. Now we got the fires up north in Ventura County. What a crazy night already. Yeah, steep yeah. terrain and huge mega winds up there. And our conditions are only going to get worse, yeah. unfortunately. Extremely dry out there, and our wind speeds are only going up overnight. These are some of our preliminary top wind gust speeds for today. Otay Mountain, 44 mile per hour. Campo 36, Ramona 32, Julian 29, and Alpine 25. We'll be dropping down to the low 50s tonight on the coast. Inland communities will see more of a chance of those Santa Ana winds rolling in. 48 degrees is your overnight low, 39 in our mountains, and 44 for our desert. So we have that red flag warning we've been talking about all day long, taking us through Thursday. You're going to see those Santa Ana winds between 20 to 30 miles per hour, gusts up to 55 miles per hour with humidity down to single digits. Also dealing with a high wind warning for our valleys and our mountains, so these downsloping Santa Ana winds, extremely dangerous gusts up to 65 miles per hour. By Thursday, though, we're going to see another round of strong winds moving in with gusts up to 80 miles per hour. So our wind future cast, we're going to see more winds moving in tonight into tomorrow morning, but then even stronger winds move in Wednesday, 11 p.m., 48 miles per hour gusts in Campo, 26 in Alpine, 41 in Ramona, 41 in Julian. So this is not going to be over anytime soon. The other issue we're dealing with is we have extremely dry conditions out there. We should have had well over an inch and a half of rain so far since our rain season started October 1st. We've only had two hundredths of an inch, so any fires that do start will be able to spread quickly. Over the next four days, we'll see stronger winds moving in tonight into Tuesday. Wednesday, our temperatures also start to go up. Thursday, another round of strong winds move into the county. Friday, winds start to die down, but we will still be dealing with that offshore flow well into the weekend. We could see that red flag warning extended through Friday and Saturday. Your 10 News Pinpoint 70 forecast 71 on the coast tomorrow back near 80 degrees by Friday into Saturday. Your overnight lows are in the low 50s. Our inland communities windy all week long. 71 tomorrow back in the 80s by Friday into Saturday. Your overnight lows in the upper 40s and 50s. But our mountains will see the highest wind gusts likely over the next couple of days. So those conditions out there mm. perfect for fires. So we have to be very careful all week long. No doubt. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah.